Stop the Christmas songs in October, seriously! Damn! Hello guys, Ancient Gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. The video of today is a video about the first Vega 56 drivers, so the first Vega drivers versus the latest. So the 70.8.1, 17.8.1 versus the 19.9.3. Will we have a big difference or not? Will we have less stutters? Will we have less power draw? Who knows? Let's find out in this video. In this video I'm using a Ryzen 5 3600 overclocked and a Vega 56 overclocked. The RAM is 3800 MHz CL16 15 14 14 26 26 <laughs> 26 and well guys there's not much more to say in fact if you like this kind of videos don't forget watch these videos because they are really really great um and well don't forget hit like subscribe and share the video because that really really helps a lot really really it really helps a lot i was talking to the microphone whatever uh <laughs> but that really helps a lot so Thanks a lot if you do it. And well, without any further delays, let's go to the part you really want to see, the benchmarks. See you in the conclusion. Well friends, the first game tested today is Far Cry New Dawn, which is a new game in our benchmarks. Well, game or a DLC masked as a game? You choose. <laughs> now on the benchmark part, we can see some improvements, small but still good to have. At 1080p the improvements are all within the margin of error, but at 1440p we can clearly see a boost on averages and mostly on the 1% lows, which is very good. The second game is the beloved Rainbow Six Siege. Funny enough, this is a game where we can't see any real world differences. That means that using a driver from nowadays or using a driver from two years ago is the same exact thing. This leads me to believe that Rainbow Six Siege is really well optimized or the drivers already came optimized for it. Finally with a game that shows us interesting improvements, Shadow of War. This game is heavily GPU dependent and we can finally see some decent improvements in all resolutions. At 1080p we have a decent improvement of 7 average FPS and 5 minimum FPS, which is not bad at all. 
At 1440p and 1440p ultra wide, the difference was around the same 4 to 5 average FPS and 3 minimum FPS. In ultra wide 1440p, the results are pretty good, since we go from an average of 66 to 70 FPS. Pretty good, in my opinion. Did you hear me? Now we have a really interesting scenario with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, another new game in our benchmarks. It seems that somehow the early drivers were completely unable to run the game at decent numbers. As you've seen before on the side-by-side -side comparisons, even the GPU usage being at 100%, we can see that it is not being fully utilized by watching the power draw, which is way lower than it should be. But well, the game is pretty playable even on this Vega 56 with the newer drivers. Moving on. Now with The Division 2. This game also brings us some interesting results in all resolutions. In my opinion, the biggest gain is without a doubt at ultra-wide 1440p, where we go from 49 to 57.2 on the 1% lows. This makes a massive difference in gameplay smoothness by itself, and the 6 FPS gain in averages also help in the mix. Overall, a pretty decent gain, not something out of this world, but pretty damn good. Now we have the first real gameplay, per se, with Metro Exodus in the first mission. Well, besides the gain not being much, the difference is felt mostly at 1440p and higher, since we get lower FPS numbers there. Going from 60 to 64 minimum FPS makes the game feel a lot smoother, since it is way less probable to have drops to below 60. Once again, pretty good results overall. Now with the chicken of the Golden Eggs benchmark, once again with pretty good results. As can be seen, this game never fails to deliver good results, this time the most visible results are at 1440p and ultra-wide 1440p, with a pretty huge boost mostly on the 1% lows. For example, at 1440p ultra-wide, the difference is big, with averages going from low 70s to 80 FPS and the 1% lows going from 59, 59.5 to 68.3 FPS. This is one of the games where the difference can be easily felt. Now that all games are tested, I decided to make a small chart with the average gains on these 6 games. Yeah, only 6 since it wouldn't be ok to include AC Odyssey due to the massive difference. Overall, we had a pretty good boost mostly on the 1% lows, while the averages did have a pretty decent boost as well. Let's now go to the conclusion. <laughs> and well guys, as seen by you before, the results are pretty interesting. In some cases we have really, really good results. In some, in some cases, some others, not really. For example, Rainbow Six Siege, well, the results are practically the same, all within the margin of error, so we, sh we shall call it the same results. So the drivers from two years ago can run this game pretty much the same as the newest drivers available right now while I'm making this video, 19.9.3, so October 2019.
But in some other scenarios, for example, like The Division 2, um, for example, and mostly, mostly on Assassin's Creed Odyssey, for example, where the, um, the earlier drivers, the first drivers, couldn't even reach more than like 20 FPS. Uh, that was obviously some, some bad coding in the drivers and the game wasn't even released b back there, but that's the point. So it will indeed stutter like hell and with uh, the newest drivers we can have pretty decent results. Uh, like for example 1080p we have around 70 FPS. Um, and if you are asking uh, if, the <laughs> if it is only uh, thing in the benchmark I tested the, the gameplay as you can see here and it was crashing a lot a lot even at 1080p so for example uh, 20 to 30 FPS while the normal gameplay with the uh, with the more recent drivers would play at around let's say 70 80 FPS sometimes 90 uh, where the earlier drivers were getting for example 40 at max <laughs> And well guys, sorry for talking so much, but thanks if you are watching this, thanks one more time guys, uh, thanks for watching, thanks if you are here, comment if you are here in this part of the video, comment in the comment section and let me know what you think about this video and what you think about the next videos I'm gonna do, which are pretty awesome by the way. So stay tuned, hit the, the like, the subscribe and activate the, that little bell in order to be notified of my newer videos. Thanks a lot, I'm not so energetic today because uh, it's uh, it was my birthday today of course, so I'm making 26 years, um, 26 yeah, uh, time flies, but well, <laughs> uh, we, ha we had a little party so I'm kind of tired, but I'm still doing this for you guys, so I really hope you enjoyed the video, thanks a lot one more time and see you in the next one.